Welcome back to Mass Garage DIY. Today we're going to do part two of the Marlin. This will be the nickel trick as some people call it. Basically it's just a way to fix the fail to eject. But like I mentioned before, I picked this gun up on an online auction. Uh, took it out to the farm, did some shooting and had tons of trouble. Wouldn't even shoot CCI ammo, which I think is kind of supposed to be the gold standard. Uh, but yeah, failed to eject with just about every type of ammo that I ran through this. Um, did the nickel trick and boy, it is nothing but fun now. So I'll show you how I did that. Super simple. Don't really need any special tools to do that. So let's get started. So if you're having problems with uh, fail to eject, the most likely culprit is your ejector spring. When I got this gun, this spring, this end of the spring was laying basically right on top there. And I discovered the nickel trick. Basically what you want to do is bend this spring. I make sure to grab this entire leg with a pair of pliers so that I'm only flexing right at the already existing bend. Bend it over the thickness of a nickel. Also when you view from the top, you want to make sure, although mine's very close to being just laying on top, but you want to also raise it about half the thickness, oops, about half the thickness of a nickel. Doing those two things has fixed all of my fail to eject problems. All right, so time to put it all back together. So one thing, this is very important to remember, if you don't do this, you're gonna end up damaging or undoing any uh, anything that you've gained by bending the spring. So hook your action assembly in. As you start to rotate this up, pull the bolt carrier all the way to the back and then finish pushing the action assembly up into place. If you don't do that, it's going to jam on that spring, potentially damaging it or straightening it back out, losing anything that you've gained. 